and welcome to the Dorcas Show. My name is Dorcas Curry, and I am the founder of Gazelle Productions, which is an organization that I started several years ago where I produce workshops and motivational speaking, and I have a play acting group under this under Gazelle Productions called New Birth Players. Uh, several years ago, I produced a play called Beyond February, and Beyond February is a black history play where I introduced several figures in history that are African Americans that were contributors to our way of life. They were comedians and, and entertainers and singers and inventors, people like Sarah Boone, people like Madam C.J. Walker, uh, Garrett Morgan, and one in particular that became known to the world as Moms Mabley. Moms Mabley was an African-American comedian and was one of the most successful vaudeville performers. She is said to be given the name Moms because she was a little older than most performers, but she was also very compassionate to them. And for many years, she was the only African-American comedian on stage. Now Gazelle Productions <laughs> is bringing back Moms Mabley in a tour called the Moms Mabley Reboot. And what this is, is is bringing laughter back to the stage. Uh, if you don't know Moms Mabley, look at some of the comedians that are on stage now and you will see moms in them because they will tell you moms paved the way for a lot of them. People like Whoopi Goldberg and Tiffany Haddish. So without any further anticipation, help me welcome to the stage Moms Mabley. Hi, Miss Mabley. Thank you for coming today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But don't, you, you don't have to call me Miss. Just call me Mom Mabel. Okay. All that other stuff is just too formal for me. Well, Mom, how did you get your name anyway? How did, why did they call you? How did you get the name? I had a brother. I'm sorry. I was born with a red of Mary Aiken, but I had a boyfriend who called me Jack and Mabel. Okay. He took so much me from me, the least I could do was take his name. Oh, my. So you could just call me Mom Mabel. Okay, Moms Mabley. I understand that you were one of the most um, famous African-American female performers, as young folks say, back in the day. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yes, I was known as Mom because I was indeed a mom to all of the performers, all the comedians, all the musicians, all the entertainers. They called me Mom. Was there anyone in your family, anyone that that uh, yes. helped you helped you to get where you are today? Yes, my grandmother. Okay, she was so kind, strict when she wanted me. Is that right? Yes, she was. Okay, but my grandmother was a driving force for the pursuit of my dreams. Wow. That's yes, she was, good. my grandma. I understand that you were one of the most successful entertainers on the Chitlin circuit. Yes. And a lot of people don't know what the Chitlin Circuit is. Can you tell us? Oh, yeah. The Chitlin Circuit. The Chitlin Circuit was a collection of performance spots in various different areas in the United States. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, if you look like me, it was hard to get on these popular stages. Okay. It's so-called popular stages. Because we was colored, okay. so we had to develop the chitlin, uh, the chitlin circuit. Was it just for comedians? No, it was for comedians. It was for musicians. Okay. It was for entertainers. Okay. Colored and Negro entertainers. Okay, so, and and being on the chitlin circuit, I would assume you didn't make a lot of money back then. But if you don't mind me asking, how much? What was the no. most that you made back then? It was good for me. I made, at the height of my career, mm -hmm. I was making uh, $10,000 every week. Every week? At the heart of a part of theater. Every week, Mom? At, at, every week. That's a lot of money. That's $40,000, ain't month, it? A month. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> did you spend it? Or and did you save? I spent every time. You spent I think a lot of them I gave it away. He gave it away? Yeah, folks wasn't making what I was making. Oh, you were being generous. I, that's like my grandma. Oh. Kind. That's very nice. Super, super. But I can imagine back then, um, you were dealing yes. with segregation and racism. and Yes. And things were hard for 
and uh, African American or Black comedian to get on stage. Was it hard for you? It's very hard. But I was, mom was able, me, I was able to make all the colors, all the colors in the rainbow laugh. Oh, okay. All the, okay. All it, the colors. Yes, all the colors. Okay. Even the white folks. So you got on the white stages. Yes, I was able to get on the white stages. So they accepted you. I, just, I made them laugh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know about that. Okay. I made them laugh. Okay. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was fun. It was fun? Yes, sir. So, what made you realize that you finally were accepted? What made me feel? Yeah. Well, I thought that was a period where I thought I was pretty sharp. Okay. I I was in the clique, you see. Yes, ma'am. And I was hanging with all these white men. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they they loved mom. They even gave me a nickname. Okay. What they the called me Trigger. Wow. Yeah. They Why called they call me you Trigger? trigger? Well, I thought they called me Trigger because I was pretty fast on my feet. I could get, think of a joke and land it. Oh, wow. Real yeah. quick. Yeah. But then I found out they wasn't calling me Trigger. One night they called me, wanted me to join them at the, at the spot where I was doing a show. Uh-huh. So I was sitting at the table with them. We laughing. We joking and laughing and everything. And I could, I was sitting closer so I could hear them a little bit better. They wasn't calling me Trigger. They weren't calling you Trigger? Nope. They was calling me something else. They was calling me something to rise with Trigger. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah. I, I got you. Want you. Me to tell no, you? ma'am. I, I, no, ma'am. I, I got it. Okay, okay. I must ever tell you, though. It rhymed with Trigger. You could take the alphabet A <laughs> through N. Stop at N. I got it. <laughs> and that's what they was calling me. <laughs> My goodness. Yes, it was. Mom's your jewel. Well, you, you are a to jewel. Be. I understand that you're coming back. Yes, I'm back. And you're going to be on tour. Yes, I am. And the tour is called the Mom's Mabley Reboot. Yes. What does that mean? That means I'm back, baby. Uh-oh. Mom is back. Okay. That's right. I, and for those of you who don't know me, you go going know me. <laughs> And the one that want to learn something, come on out. Okay. I'll teach you a whole lot. What you going to teach for 2020? What, what, what do you oh, think about twi- us now? Well, I found out since I've been back. Twitter, Twitter. Hi, everybody. So angry. Well, moms, there's a lot of stuff going on. What's people, going on right here? Are, it's, people are stressed. People are going through, trying to get to the top, trying to make the extra dollar, hustle and bustle. People are frustrated with a lot of stuff. People are very frustrated. You know, if I could tell the world something, I would tell the world, smile more, hum a happy song, and listen, listen for the sound of laughter. Wow. That's right. So there you have it from the queen, of the original queen of comedy. Smile more, hum a happy song. Yes. And listen to the sound, sound of, of laughter. Awesome. Awesome. That's the way to make the world go viral. Wow. Wow. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. Moms, I want to thank you for coming out today. Thank you, you for sharing with us today. Y'all, I, but I want y'all to do me one favor, though. Okay, what's that? I want you to invite one particular person for Other than me, who else needs to be there? I want you to get that woman, that 1980 name Whoopi, and Tell I'm going to be there. Whoopi and Goldberg. Be Whoopi Goldberg. Go- <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, Whoopi Goldberg. Why you want her to come? Because I just, cause she's been talking about me. I heard, I heard her say, say nice stuff about me. Okay. Yeah, she did do a documentary about it. Yes, she did. Anybody else? Yeah, what about that little, what about that little, that little dude? About that little man, about this tall. Gary Coleman? No, I'm <laughs> not Gary Coleman. Who? What's the name? Kevin Hart. <laughs> Please tell him I like him. He cute and good. He's young. I always yes, love him. Always here. And he is short. Okay. Kevin like Hart, that. she wants you to come to her sure show. Sure do. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom, for coming. You are you a welcome. jewel. Thank you so I'm much for coming. I just love making oh, fun my of And you do a good job at it. Thank you very much, baby.
Thank you so much. Thank you to my audience for listening in today. And remember what the queen says, listen for the sounds. Thank you. You love me. Thank you.